This could uh, reach a uh, major hurricane status. The uh, ocean waters, the uh, water temperatures in the uh, Gulf of Mexico, very warm. So we do expect a uh, rapid intensification of lore a little bit uh, later on today. Probably going to become a hurricane uh, later on today. Still holding on to that tropical storm strength, but this is the 4 a.m. update. We'll get another update coming up here at the top of the hour. So we'll see uh, if that status has changed. And as it moves off the uh, tip of Cuba, it will uh, again strengthen uh, very quickly. And yes, could become a major hurricane, as we mentioned, as it makes landfall heading into a late Wednesday, early Thursday morning right along the Texas and Louisiana border. So let's show you what that track may look like as it moves northwesterly. They're going to start to make that turn toward the north and again strengthening to a category three hurricane 115 mile per hour winds perhaps right along the uh, Texas and Louisiana border. This will likely shift a little bit too as the uh, storm approaches, but right now right along the uh, Texas Louisiana border moving northward up through the uh, western portions of Louisiana and far east Texas. Now the rainfall forecast as it stands now, this will likely shift as well depending on the exact track, but six to 10 inches of rain possible in uh, some areas closer to that center of circulation. Now, you can see us here across the Metroplex. Most of North Texas we will be on the back side of that, so kind of scattered as far as the rain and thunderstorms are concerned for us closer to the center of that uh, track and circulation with the uh, storm heavier rain in our far eastern counties. But we will definitely have some showers and storms around here to deal with beginning tomorrow going on into Thursday. So we'll detail that a little bit more for you coming up here in just a few minutes. Now let's go out to Cleo Green. You're talking more about the uh, preps for the folks along the uh, coast, and this uh, is likely going to be a dangerous storm for the folks there too. Yeah. Greg, you know, at this point, we know states of emergency have been declared in 23 counties. Officials in Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, they're urging millions of people to prepare for landfall. So here's the latest video that we've seen overnight. This video, you can see the storm visible from the International Space Station in Louisiana. There are walls of sandbags and lines of boats trailers and cars lined up between or behind flood barriers rather an ABC meteorologist showing us a 26 feet high wall that was actually built after Katrina to protect the city from any sort of storm surge. Now in Texas several areas are under mandatory evacuation buildings are boarded up the National Guard and other local agencies are spread across the coast ready for back to back storms. This morning we're also getting word that Laura knocked out power to nearly 200,000 people in Puerto Rico here. If you use the hashtag tropical storm Laura, uh, you can see that video from over the weekend leading up to today. And they're still working to recover, they know, uh, from three years ago from Hurricane Maria. So we'll be tracking the latest here and bringing you live updates on our website. Tashara, I'll send it to you.